What is the contestable market theory? Well, generally, this is an economic concept that says companies that have very few rivals in the competitive market tend to behave in a highly competitive manner, particularly when the conditions for entry and exit from the market are very weak. That is, it is easy for new entrants to enter into the market. The existing firms in the market are going to be highly competitive in nature. Now, the implication or assumption here is that there's always potential threat of market entrance from new rivals. So with that being said, what are the primary characteristics that you see in a contestable market? Well, one, you have to have freedom of entry and exit from the market. So existing players can exit the market at any time with relative ease and new competitors can enter the market with relative ease. There's not high barriers to entry or barriers to exit exit as they say. There's an absence of irrecoverable incurred costs for exiting the market. This is one of those barriers to exit. So there's once again an absence to barriers of exit and irrecoverable cost is one of the biggest barriers. You see this in industries that have extremely heavy capital expenditure such as uh, heavy equipment like airlines or um, other major construction firms that have to buy massive amounts of equipment for a particular job or, or uh, undertaking. And then there's equal access to technology by new entrants and mar market participants. That is, so anyone entering into the market can immediately have access to the things they need to adequately compete. You see this in the real estate industry routinely. That is the multiple listing service, the ability once you enter into the market as an agent, you have access to this technology that gives you access to listings for properties. So once again, a very important aspect is equal opportunity to compete. And this comes with access to technology. And then lastly, there's a tendency towards hit and run tactics, as we say, that is new entrance into the market quickly come into the market, do things that give some level of temporary strategic advantage, such as charging very low prices or doing some kind of uh, combined sales or product offering in the short run that produces profits quickly, and then they can quickly exit the market. The reason for this is oftentimes it's very difficult to establish long-term competitive advantage in a market. That is, the other competitors will routinely react to whatever you do when you enter the market and start to compete. So many firms will jump into the market, try to take advantage of immediate arbitrage opportunities and uh, make a quick profit. And then once that opportunity has exhausted itself, that is the market forces are starting to react or some, some type of door closes on that opportunity, they'll then quickly exit the market. But the essence of this is it keeps existing competitors in the market on their toes in a way that is they have to quickly react to all of the new and novel things happening by new entrants into the market to fight them off to keep them from establishing that long-term competitive advantage that's going to uh, erode some of the existing competitors market share so in this way in summary contestable market theory simply says that if you have a market where there is value to be grabbed, there will be new entrants into that market. And because of that, there will be a high level of competition among existing firms in the market.